Hi friends, welcome to AVS Future Solar Channel. In the video, we will see the circle diagram. How to draw the circle diagram? So, this circle diagram it is a graphical approach for predetermining the operating characteristics of three phase induction machine. So, the circle diagram of an induction motor can be drawn by using the data obtained from no load test short circuit test and state or resistance test. The induction motor performance can be analyzed by a graphical method. So this graphical method is known as the circle diagram. So how to construct the circle diagram? Take reference phase R B as vertical in Y axis. From no load test phi naught and I naught are obtained. Draw the vector I naught lagging V by an angle phi naught. This line is O O dash. Therefore, W naught is equal to root 3 V naught I naught cos phi naught. Cos phi naught is equal to W naught divided by root 3 V naught I naught. Phi naught is equal to cos inverse of W naught divided by root 3 V naught I naught. Take suitable current scale to draw the line I naught. So let us consider I naught is equal to 10 amps. 1 centimeter is equal to 5 amps. I naught is equal to 10 divided by 5. That is equal to 2 centimeter. Third step. Draw the horizontal line through the extremity of I naught. That is from O dash parallel to horizontal axis. Draw the current ISN calculated from ISC with the same scale lagging V by an angle phi SC from the origin. This is phase R OA. ISN is equal to BL divided by BSC into ISC. BL is normal rated voltage. BSC is short circuit voltage therefore WSC is equal to root 3 BSC ISC cos phi SC cos phi SC is equal to WSC divided by root 3 VSC ISC phi SC is equal to cos inverse WSC divided by root 3 VSC ISC fifth step join O dash A the line O dash A is the output line. Draw the perpendicular bisector of O dash A. Extend it to meet the line O dash B at point C. This is the center of the circle. Draw the circle with the C as center and radius equal to O dash C. This meets the horizontal line drawn from O dash to B. Draw the perpendicular line from point A on the horizontal axis. Meet O dash B. Line at F and meet horizontal axis at D. So the torque line represents the separation of the rotor copper loss and stator. Therefore WSN is equal to ISN divided by ISC the whole square into WSC. AD is equal to WSN that is equal to rotor copper loss plus rotor copper loss plus fixed loss. FD is equal to fixed loss. For slip ring induction motor AE by EF is equal to rotor copper loss divided by stator copper loss. That is equal to 3i2 square r2 divided by 3i1 square r1. That is equal to i2 by i1 the whole square into r2 by r1. So that is equivalent to r2 by r1 into 1 divided by k square. So we can rewrite this as that is r2 by k square into 1 divided by r1. AE divided by EF is equal to R2 dash divided by R1. 
the line O dash E is called as the torque line. E is the point which separates stator and rotor copper loss. For squirrel gauge AE by EF is equal to WSN minus 3 ISN square R1 divided by 3 ISN square R1. The power scale is given by power scale is equal to WSN divided by L into AD that is called as distance AD in centimeter. Now we are going to predict the performance from circle diagram. First locate output point P on the circle diagram. The output point P on the circle is located as by drawing line parallel to the output line as a tangent to the circle. Draw a perpendicular line from P to meet the output line at Q. Torque line at R. Base line at S. Horizontal axis at T. Total motor input is equal to length of Pt into power scale. Fixed loss is equal to ST into power scale. Stator copper loss is equal to SR into power scale. Rotor copper loss is equal to QR into power scale. Total loss is equal to length of QT into power scale. Rotor output is equal to PQ into power scale. Rotor input is equal to PQ plus QR is equal to angle OHI gives maximum power factor. That is PF is equal to IH divided by OH. Full load condition. The full load motor output is given on the nameplate in watts or in HP. Calculate the distance corresponding to the full load output using the power scale. So let output is equal to 5 kilowatt. PS is equal to 1000 kilowatt. Output is equal to 5 into 10 power 3 divided by 1000 that is equal to 5 centimeter. Then extend AD upwards equal to the distance corresponding to full load output that is A dash. Draw parallel to the output line O dash A from A dash to meet the circle at P dash. This is the point corresponding to full load condition. P dash is equal to full load point. O P dash is equal to full load current that is equal to length of O P dash into C T scale. Fixed loss is equal to S dash T dash into power scale. Thank you.